This video is brought to you by Scout's Eyes. If you're a talented footballer and you want to get yourself in front of a scout, visit Scout's Eyes right now or click the link in the description. AFTV on our way to Brighton away. It's a big game today. Arsenal taking on Brighton. We've got to win this game. City are beating Crystal Palace. So we got to get the job done. Um, I'm not driving today. I'm in the back seat. Julian's driving. Big up Julian, man. Got to concentrate <laughs> on the road. Yeah. Oh, that was it. Ain't <laughs> stopped moaning because he's driving. No, I'm, like, I'm, 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 I'm all right. I'm all right to drive. It was just um, I need to focus on one thing at a time. Although I do have certain views on the game as well. <laughs> well, uh, listen. I, 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 what are you trying to make out? Like we're not going to make you talk. I mean, yeah. uh, we will make you talk. It's, it's not make me talk. It's let me talk. One of the reasons he said he didn't want to drive was because he, he, he wouldn't be the star of the show like, <laughs> now, like that. I mean, that was one of his reasons. Anyway, uh, looking forward to the game, Lee. Yeah. Um, must win. Must win. I, I think, I, I'm going to say it now, I think every game's must win. I yeah. Think, I, I don't think we can afford to drop points. Um, City, before they play uh, Real Madrid, gone and smashed Crystal Palace, you know, this yeah. is what happened. So. We just got to get the job done and, and 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 win all our games. And this is one of those ones where people be looking at it and thinking, this is where we can drop points. Yeah. This is where you got to go there and produce a good performance and make sure you win the game. Yeah. I mean, listen, we did win there last year. Um, we were, I think, it was, remember, it was three 0 up. It ended up four two in the end, but we did win there. They have got a few injuries, Brighton, but listen, they're a, they're a team that are more than capable. They gave Liverpool a scare. Last week when they went 1-0 up against them, Liverpool did come back and win. But this is where there's just no room for error and um, we've really got to go out there and just, you know, show our title credentials. I mean, Julian, are you feeling confident ahead of this game? Well, if I have a look at my spreadsheet, I actually predicted a draw for this game. And I've started doing some research and one of the things I always research is the weather. Um, mainly so that I know what to wear. But if you look at the weather, there's up to 25 mile an hour gusts predicted for, for the time of the game. They blow you away, didn't well, <laughs> and, and that And I wouldn't say, and, and I know Ty came out with something similar a few years ago, that it was raining, and your response was, it was raining for both sides. But one thing about adverse weather conditions is, it's a level up, and the last thing you want when you're the dominant side, and Arsenal are the dominant side against Brighton, is something that levels it off. So I think we need to be a little bit careful, maybe adapt our, our game to that weather condition. Because a few years ago we went to Brighton and it was absolutely... <laughs> it's a valid point. It's a valid point. It was nil-nil because the game just became very difficult to play. So I do think it'll be it'll be close. I'm not going with the spreadsheet this time. I think it will be an Arsenal victory, but not a, not a big one. Yeah, listen, I'm going back to what I said to Ty. The weather's the same for both teams. And the thing, the thing is as well, right, it's not like Brighton are, you know, a long ball merchants, you know what I mean? They like to play like how we play. They like to play with the ball on the floor. I think what suits us playing a team like Brighton is we know what they're going to do. They're going to go for it. They're going to be on the front foot. Yeah. They're going to play a high line and we can get in behind that. We, we did it last year, scored a lot of goals against them at home, I thought. You know, um, we did it to them then, where, you know, again, we, we dominated that game by using our pace in behind. Fully expecting, like, Saka, Martinelli, all these guys to be involved today. Remember, we made a lot of changes the other night. Um, will be interesting to see if he brings back in uh, Jorginho, or will he stick with Partey for this game? That might be interesting with Declan Rice. But I, I you know, expecting a strong team out there today, maybe Kivio comes back in or, or, or maybe even Tommy, Tommy Asu in that Asher, position, yeah. but this is a game that we cannot afford to slip up in. Um, and Brighton, they need, they need, um, you know, they're they're trying to get a European spot. You know, they still got a chance of getting Conference League outside chance of the Europa League as well. So they'll be going for it as well, Lee. Yeah, massive. And I think, as you say, like they're a, they're a decent side, and they'll be looking to kick on, obviously, with European football this year. They're looking to get it next year as well, like that. I do agree with slightly what Julian's saying about the wind. I think when you play football, the worst thing is the wind, rain, anything else. Wind can be a little bit of a leveller, but as you said quite rightly that these are two football insides it's not a long ball team and a, yeah. a, and a team that plays football so I, I feel that it's going to be the both yeah and the wind's not that bad my son was playing out there 
this morning um, up in Birmingham. That's where I was coming from, so I'm not driving today. And um, it was windy, but listen, yeah. it, it, you know, I mean, they yeah. cope. They, you know, just play the ball on the floor, so it was all right. So let's get some predictions yeah, in well, now. If I can say on that point, that, that's no, 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 the, no, 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 no. So so that's, why, that's why I looked at the forecast in Brighton, not Birmingham. Yeah, <laughs> and, 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 and what was the, the time of the game? Yeah, and the temperature. Um, Temperatures more or less the same as, as what it was um, in Birmingham today, and the gusts the, are going to be the same. About the temperature, it's about the wind. Yeah, it's windy in Birmingham as well. It's windy well, all over the country okay, right now. Okay, then it's a leveller. That's the point I was making. Oh, of course. So it's, it's not been the wind's not been blowing in um, London then, the Crystal Palace. But There's also, no you've, got, there, you've got to look at the weather. The weather predictions at the time of the game. Well, listen, um, Michael Fish, can we get your prediction, please? <laughs> Okay, so I've looked at I've looked at oh Brighton. Oh my God! He's got to upload this oh, video. We've got Bayern Munich on Tuesday. Yeah, you know what I mean. All right, let's get our predictions. I'm gonna go for Arsenal winning by three goals to one. Where are you going? I'm gonna go two 0 Rob. Two 0 well, well, Seeing as he I'm doesn't want to give a prediction, go, I'm gonna go two one. But I was just gonna he's gonna go two one. Well, what we say is thank you very much for watching the video. Um, don't forget we're gonna be at the game. We'll be speaking to fans afterwards. Maybe not Julian, but we'll find out. <laughs> but uh, we'll be speaking to fans after. Uh, leave your predictions in the comments below. But on our way to Brighton, the Amex Stadium, we're gonna do this.